Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to A Year in Film, featuring me, Hijoto Brodo. Today I'm gonna to be talking about an awesome film, the first film actually in this A Year in Film series. And this, this is kind of the film, honestly, that sort of inspired me to do this whole thing. I watched this film and it really got me thinking like, okay, I need to do more of this. I need to watch more of these great films. I mean, that film, as you can tell from the title, is the 2000s film Gladiator. It's technically a rewatch, yes, but it is my first proper like watch through where I'm paying attention. And wow, this is a great start to the series. Honestly, um, I cannot really fault Gladiator for anything if I'm honest. This film is 20 years old now, and I gotta say, I loved it. Loved it. Obviously, it, it stars Russell Crowe as the uh, protagonist, the main character, Maximus, and he is complemented by a whole host of other fantastic actors. Obviously, um, we've got the incredible Joaquin Phoenix playing Commodus, plenty of other good actors, and another actor to note is Richard Harris, who plays Marcus Aurelius, the Roman Emperor, at the very beginning of the film. Uh, you may remember Richard Harris from The Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone and The Chamber of Secrets, the Harry Potter films. He was the original Dumbledore. Um, so honestly, my thoughts on this film, as I said, what a great way to start out this A Year in Film series. Gladiator is awesome. It has such a good story, a very compelling narrative. Um, I won't give any spoilers away, but it's essentially about Maximus, who is a general in the Roman army, very highly respected, and for certain reasons, he loses that rank and is forced to become a gladiator um, and basically fight for his life. This film is full of incredible fight scenes. Um, no surprise, it won an Oscar. Well, it won several Oscars and many, many other awards. It won Best Picture in the year 2000. Well deserved. Just a fantastic film overall. The acting in this movie is on point. Russell Crowe, I think he gave everything he had to this role and it was it shows it, it was incredible his performance was fantastic and honestly i gotta say his style of acting and his personality or the personality that comes across really fits this kind of role of you know this sort of uh, brutish he comes across often as brutish and kind of like that in films and in this case it worked brilliantly plenty of other good acting in here especially joaquin phoenix as commodus from the get-go you know that this character is a slime ball. You can just tell that I don't know. It, he, Joaquin Phoenix did a, an amazing job playing Commodus in that he makes the character so believable that as the story progresses, as his character does the things he does, it makes you angry. You know, you you just kind of want to punch this dude in the face. Um, well, no, not really, but you, you know what I mean. He's he he does a fantastic job with the role. The kind of slimy, sleazeball, backstabbing little nasty piece of work um, really comes across. I think also one very important factor is that something that often makes a great movie so good is that it makes you feel something. You know, you have kind of a, a reaction within yourself so to speak, towards the film. And I don't mean on like a, a deep metaphysical level. I literally just mean it makes you feel something, happy, sad, angry, whatever. And I think Gladiator does an amazing job of that. And I think that's one of the strengths of this film is just the injustices that Maximus faces, his sheer tenacity to just go after whatever is needed in order to kind of fix his situation without giving anything away really comes across and just really makes you feel for Maximus, but not only Maximus, the other characters in this film as well. So I think that's another great strength of this movie, is it really invokes some feelings in you. Not to mention just cool, you know, cool um, props, cool sets, great action sequences, some awesome fighting. Do be warned, if you don't like gore, there are some pretty gory scenes in this, this sucker, but I mean, it's rated R, so just take that into account before watching it. If you don't like gore, if you're not into violence, maybe don't check it out, but it's not too bad, that being said. It's not like Saw or one of these things with just gratuitous, unnecessary amounts of blood and things. It's rated as an 8.5 on IMDb, and again, it's in the top 250. It's well up there. It is within the top 50, I believe. And honestly, all I can say is that it is completely well-deserved, and I wouldn't rank it any differently or give it any different a score. 8.5 out of 10, spot on. Brilliant film, cannot recommend it enough. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. If you have seen it, let me know in the comments what you you thought of this film? Do you think 8.5 is well-deserved? And just kind of what you generally felt about this film. 
I loved it. And I think this has been the perfect way to start off this A Year in Film series. If this is a glimpse of what's to come, the quality of films I'm gonna be watching, I cannot wait. Anyway, amazing film, fantastic start. Gladiator, go check it out and uh, you will not regret it. So thank you so much for tuning into this just short video about Gladiator. Thanks for joining me in uh, A Year in Film, this kind of journey through 2021, through watching all of these fantastic films. Go check out Brodocast if you want. I'll leave a link in my channel. It's a podcast that I'm working on uh, featuring some friends where we just chat about films, video games, just kind of pop culture and that sort of stuff in general. More episodes coming out soon. Check it out. Thank you again so much for being here and uh, have a great rest of your day, week, year, whatever. Hijodo Brodo out.